Hi friends, it's Steffi and welcome to another video on my channel. Before I get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Steffi Blue Bear. So today I'm going to be testing out a palette, uh, makeup palette, and it is the ColourPop Blue Moon palette. I've been wanting this ever since I saw that it came out. Now you guys know, blue is my favorite color. My favorite color is actually in my name. Um, and I did want to get the Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette, but that was one too expensive and I think it was too bulky. And yeah, the packaging is really pretty, but I don't think I have room at the moment for that. So I bought this one, which is way cheaper, and it looks so pretty. And I like the name, like Blue Moon. As you guys probably don't know, I love moons too, which is why there's a moon in my logo. So anyways, um... I really like the letters and how it has a little moon and I love the color obviously and then the, on the back of it it just has the names of the colors that are in the package so this is basically just like the box that it comes in and then this is how the palette looks like on the front it's like a shiny material and then like the the letters blue moon or the <laughs> basically it's like a foily blue color and again, it has the names of the um, colors on the back, but it's just a sticker. Um, so let's open it. Ah! Drop this, but that's just to protect the, um, the colors. Oh, they're so pretty. This is how all the colors look like. They're so pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited. So let's take the little thing off of the mirror. And you can see the camera. Oof. Wow, I really, really love the palette so much. Look at that. So I'm gonna do like a little look on my face with these and then I'll swatch them on my arm so you can see how they all look swatched. So before we get started with that, let's just get some of this hair out of my face. Um, I already have eyebrows on and I have my foundation and concealer um, and powder on just so that I could get that out of the way. Okay, so now I got hair out of my way and let's just get started with the look. Okay. So I'm going to be taking the color Moonlight, which is this one right here, and I'm just going to put that all over my crease. Oh my gosh, this is so pigmented. I don't really wear like light blue colors because they uh, don't really like are pigmented on my eyes, but oh my god, this is really pigmented. This is actually my very first ColourPop palette. The only thing that I actually own from ColourPop is a, um, I only own one Super Shock Shadow and then I own one Super Shock Highlighter, and that's it. That's the only ColourPop items I own. So, I'm happy that I got this palette. Oh my god, that's so pretty. That is a very beautiful pastel blue color. And I'm just gonna blend all that out. So now I'm going to take this color in, it's called Clued In, which is the dark one right here, and put that um, on the outer corners of my eyes. Let's see what's going on, sorry. It 
It looks dark in the pan, but on my eyes, it kind of looks like a lighter version of itself. And now I'm gonna blend, I'm gonna blend that out again. So I'm gonna be taking the color Billie Jean, which is the color in the middle, and I'm gonna be putting that on my eyelid. Well, it looks really pretty. I like that color. I'm going to be taking the color Lumi, which is this bright, like, white color, and I'm going to be putting that in the corners of my eyes as, like, an inner corner highlight. So like in the pan, you can kind of see like it reflects a little bit. Come on, focus. So like, it kind of reflects. So like in the pan, it looks white, but when you put it on your eyes, it's like an icy blue color, which is really, really pretty. So now I'm gonna be taking this color in uh, Dabadi, which is this like almost purpley-ish blue color, and I'm putting that on um, my under eye lid. I'm not going all the way, I'm just going like right here. I'm also gonna blend that out a little bit. I'm gonna be taking Lumi again and I'm going to be putting that on like the inner corners right here of my eyes. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes, put my eyeliner on, and my mascara, and then I'll get to the review, you know, how the eyeshadows perform. So since this look is gonna be an all blue look, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting, Highlighting Powder in the color Winter Falls in LA, which is this white, it's like a an iridescent highlighter where it's like white but then it turns blue. So I'm gonna use that. Now I'm going to be using this uh, Lime Crime Lip Liner in the color Angel and topping it with the lip the Lime Crime uh, Lipstick in the color L. So this is how the finished look looks like.
I really like how this look came out. It has different types of blue in it. It's really nice. I like it. And I also topped like a nudie-ish color with the look just so it won't look too like out there. So my opinion on this palette, I actually really, really, really do like this palette a lot. Um, this is actually my very first ColourPop palette using like these pressed shadows because I only own like one super shock shadow which I almost almost done with anyways um, but I do really like the color palette like I love blue and like all of these blues look really nice um, and they're all blue or at least a shade of blue because yes I think that blue blush by Jeffree Star is a pretty palette I just kind of don't like that there's other colors in it like a peachy color which I understand it's nice to have nude colors with a palette, but I'm the opposite. I just like one palette to have a cohesive story on it. Like, if it's going to be a blue palette, make it different shades of blue and just blue. Um, so I really like this palette. It's It was $12. I got it on ColourPop.com. Um, the colors look really beautiful. And I will also insert... insert um, a video clip of me swatching or having all swatched on my arm. I like the formula on here. Um, the lightest bluish color, which is Moonlight, is like the lightest blue color in the palette, and it still actually went on my eyes really nicely. Like a lot of the times when I have palettes that have super bright colors of like pastel colors like this, they don't appear in my eye that well. It's almost kind of like kids' makeup, but this eyeshadow like went on my eye like so perfectly. Like as you can see, like. The light pastel blue color is like on my eye. You can see it really nicely. It's super good. And I feel like this color, especially the light color, would go good on dark skin. Like, I just love this palette. And I didn't try all the colors on my face, but I do really like all the colors that I did use so far. Um, so if this palette is really good, imagine the other color themed palettes like the Just My Luck palette, which is the green one, and the Ooh La La palette, which is what, the pink one? Um, what's the other one? The purple one I think is called It's My Pleasure, and then the red one, which I'm not sure if it's just a watermelon, or like, I don't know what the name of it, but I know it was kind of watermelon themed, so if this blue one is a really good palette, imagine the other one, so I really like this. I totally recommend getting this. If you want blue blood from Diffie Star, but you can't afford it, I actually highly recommend this. It's sort of similar. Um, and if you love blue like me, this is gonna like amaze you. I love it so much. And I am very, I am going to be using this palette a lot more often for blue looks. Um, and I actually got blue hair to honor, you know, the blue themed kind of thing going on. So I totally recommend this palette. Formula is really nice. You don't even need to use like a setting spray for the shimmer colors, which is really good. Um, so I highly recommend this palette so, so much. Get it. It's $12. Recommend it. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please comment down below. Are you going to try this palette as well? Is blue also your favorite color? Please let me know. I really like reading the comments. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time... Bye.